Zina here from Pacific Science Center, and I am standing next to one of my favorite exhibits, and this is called We All Live Downstream, and it explores the watershed, and it explores when rain lands on mountains, where it goes and how it goes down to the streams. But I also just love this as an exhibit, and this is a great time to share with you a little bit of this. So we have a pile of sand right here, and then we've got a computer underneath and a projector over the top. The projector has a sensor, so it's sensing where the sand is located in here and then projecting an image on the top to match. What it's making here is a contour map and a color-shaded contour map so that the different colors you see correspond to the elevation of the landforms. So right now, this mountains of sand that I've made, the top part is colored red. And if we take that off, just take the top of this mountain off, we'll give the computer a second to catch up. The colors change from bright red to orange. We'll take a little bit more of the mountain off. And now it's gone to a yellowish green. And every time it gets lower and lower elevation, the color changes accordingly. So the lowest parts of this model are blue, representing the lowest elevation. And when you look at it all together, we can see that that is looking like water. Let's take a closer look. So one of the great things a sand table like this can help us see is what a watershed is, or once it rains, where that water goes. So I'm gonna hold my hand over this part of the model, and you can see that it gets dark blue and that is signaling the rain. You see my hand here is blocking the projector. The projector is imagining that to be clouds and then showing where the rain would hit. You can see the blue lines going down. That shows the runoff from the water and water is going to pool in the lowest spot, in this case here in my lake basin. The other great thing that a sand table like this can show you is contour lines and how a topographical map works. You may have seen topographical maps before that have these different colors that denote elevation, but also has a series of lines on it. Those lines are called contour lines, and they show the elevation across the landscape. But not just any elevation. Each line is at the exact same type of, same height of elevation all the way through the model. So let's take a look. Right over here, we have a little circle, and that is showing the elevation around the highest point. As we go down the slopes, each line is showing the next ring of elevation down below. So you can see those elevation lines as rings at the top of a mountain, but when you get farther down, they just look like lines and you really have to trace them quite a ways to see another point. What this is showing us is that this point right there is at the exact same elevation as that point right there. And I know that because I followed the same contour line across my model. So now that we've thought a little bit about landforms in general, I think it's time to make this look a little bit more like Puget Sound. So I know Puget Sound, we've got some Olympic mountains that are over on this side, and we have the Cascades that are over on this side. And I know that a long time ago, we had glaciers that came through and these glaciers actually carved out this big channel of Puget Sound right here, like little Lake Washington. I think I'm gonna have to start over if I wanna fit the entire Washington State in here, but this is a pretty good start.